As we take a live look at the White House on this Monday morning, we're now just eight days away from Election Day, and this is the final full week of campaigning for Vice President Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Harris spent Sunday rallying support in Philadelphia while Trump held a massive rally at New York's Medicine Square Garden. A homecoming for former President Donald Trump, the New York native rallying thousands Sunday at Madison Square Garden. We will have the strongest economy, the most secure borders, the safest cities, the most powerful military. The crowd welcomed a rare appearance from Trump's wife, Melania. But this morning, there's bipartisan fallout over a comedian's racially charged jokes that opened Trump's rally. There's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. Republican Florida Senator Rick Scott wrote on X, it's not funny and it's not true. Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Walz pushed back during a Twitch live stream with New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Ortez. There are hundreds of thousands of Puerto Ricans across in battleground states that need to send them a message on this. The Trump campaign says the jokes were not reviewed beforehand and they do not reflect the former president's views as both campaigns work to win over Latino voters. So, Philly, I've got a question for you. Are you ready to do this? Vice President Harris spent Sunday in Philadelphia, her eighth stop to the city. She visited the Church of Christian Compassion in West Philly. God She also stopped at the Philly Cuts Barber Shop near 44th and Chestnut, speaking with a group of black men. She also visited Freddie and Tony's Puerto Rican restaurant. She wrapped up her day at a rally at the Alan Horowitz Sixth Man Center in Nicetown. Her message, Philadelphia needs to get out and vote. The election is here, and the choice, Philly, is truly in your hands. Well, today, Harris campaigns in Michigan while Trump stumps in Georgia. The latest CBS News polls show the candidates are in a virtual tie in multiple battleground states. Well, state police and the FBI and other news this morning, they are investigating after the Montgomery County GOP headquarters. They say got a bomb threat Saturday morning, that threat forcing the building to close early for the day. Officials say the headquarters in Bluebell got a phone call just after, or just after that is 11 a.m. from a caller who police say communicated an angry, profanity-laced bomb threat. In a post on X, the Pennsylvania GOP said Saturday's threat is one of several recent acts of violence against GOP candidates, offices, and staffers this election cycle. So far, there have been no arrests. And early voting is underway in Pennsylvania, Delaware, and also New Jersey. Lines were long at polling places like this one in Kent County, Delaware, over the weekend. There are about 20 polling locations open for early voters in the first state. Voters like Mike Lenigan is one of the people who waited in line to cast his ballot. I think this country is at a turning point. We're at a point where we're either going to go far left or really far right. Don't care whether you're voting Democrat or Republican, but you need to vote. If you don't vote, you can't gripe. Early voting ends in Delaware on Sunday. And as we mentioned, early voting in person is underway in New Jersey. This is video at a polling location in Fort Lee. This is over the weekend, North Jersey. People in the Garden State can cast their ballots early from now through Sunday. And of course, stay with us as America decides. You can learn more about the candidates and see all of the voting deadlines to make sure that your vote counts. Just go to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.